<laughs> okay, so the name 1624, tell me about that. Yeah, so that is in reference to Proverbs 1624, which is gracious words are like honey, sweet to the soul and healthy for the body. So that's really um, a good reminder for me, <laughs> if anything, that every time I go to create a different design or uh, do maybe a home decor item or anything like that, that it's rooted in, in grace and it's rooted in being healthy for people, a positive experience for people and to sustain people. Yeah, so 1624 Creations, uh, primarily right now we're creating a stationery for people to connect better with each other, uh, primarily through gracious words. So a lot of our designs right now are based in uh, biblical verses, uh, but we also do custom cards for, you know, to celebrate the really awesome people and things going on in each other's lives. And, you know, really it's about connecting on a deeper level than sending a text or a Snapchat or an Insta or a tweet. There's never an end. Like there's always, I feel, a better way to explain something or a cool way to express ourselves. You know, at the at the end of the day, like words are how we communicate, you know, like if everything else went crazy, like it's our own minds and words that would have to like figure things out. So I think that they're really powerful and it's like one of those things where particularly like written words, like I feel like there's less interpretation, you know what I mean? Versus like a pat on the back or like a fist pump, you know, or something like that. Like, you know, it can be taken anyway. But when people like take the time to write out like, you're awesome and this is why, or I care about you and this is why, that's a really life-changing experience, I think. You know, I definitely believe that words change lives, you know, the way that we speak to one another changes how we interact with each other and also how we interact with ourselves. I think that that kind of goes back to, I mean, really, the creation of the business was in correlation to what was going on in my life. Um, I, I am a true believer that, you know, when you uplift others, you yourself are uplift, uplifted. Um, so, uh, you know, I, wanted, I knew that if I uplifted others that I was going to feel uplifted. And then if I was uplifted, I was going to feel more encouraged and I could give more, you know, of myself to other people. So I think that it was really a natural progression and it definitely I think that that's something that Angler particularly is really really good at is connecting students with entrepreneurial ventures or setting them up in a in an area to succeed that correlates with their purposes in life so It kind of happened late for me. I would say um, my parents bought like a sports clothing store when I was a freshman in high school. So that was really when I was introduced to what the entrepreneurial like lifestyle was like. And I think that what really inspired me was their work ethic. And you know, they went to work, but they really found meaning in it and they provided um, jobs to people in the community and everything. So that was the first time that I was introduced and maybe inspired by people who were entrepreneurs, but that didn't necessarily mean that I wanted to be an entrepreneur. Um, I think that that kind of goes back to, we talk about how entrepreneurs sometimes is like, um, just kind of like a flashy word, you know, or I thought of people that maybe like weren't as great of team players, you know, because they just wanted to solve the problem like their way um, or people that were really bold. But to me now, how I view entrepreneurship is kind of encapsulated by one of my favorite books, a quote um, from Tuesdays with Maury. And it goes something along the lines of like, people are most fulfilled when you offer others what you have to give. And so to me, like that's really what entrepreneurship is about. It's rooted in service. It's rooted in providing products or goods or expertise to help people have better lives or better experiences. So once I kind of ex like went through that, I was like, why wouldn't I want to be a part of it? You know, why wouldn't I want to provide something like that for other people? Mm -hmm.